Hi, good morning. My name is Jason. I make and sell candles online. This is my second weekly video, just to keep you updated with what I've been doing, what I've sold, what I haven't sold, any refunds, any problems, and what I'm working on. So let's get into the video. What's going on, guys? Yeah, so it's been a fairly average week for me. Um, I've sold quite a few bits on Amazon, a couple of sales on Shopify, nothing really on Etsy, maybe two or three. I've been working quite a lot on my um, second Etsy shop, which is like a digital download shop, where I've been um, buying and commissioning in clip art. So I managed to get five um, listings on there, four different types of clip art, and then one sort of watercolour painting of a flamingo. So far I've had no sales, one favourite on one of the listings, and um, quite a few visits. So it's still early days, but I've got a bit of hope for it at the moment. I've also been working on putting up a few more articles for my blog, for the Suffolk Candles blog. I think, like I said in my previous video, I want to rank for some um, sort of low competition keywords. So, what else have I been up to this week? I've been working on a new candle scent, an old bookshop smell. Something I did in the past before I tried blending my own um, scent together. It didn't go so well. It was um, very mixed reviews. Um, a sort of Marmite candle, as it were. Um, a lot of people hated it. Some people loved it. Uh, I've got a few bad reviews for it, so I pulled the plug on that. Um, but I've had a little time to rethink and reevaluate. Um, and I've found a nice scent for it. Got some nice artwork designed. So I'm going to sort of relaunch that one soon with a new listing on Amazon. It sold quite well before, so I think it'll be popular. Um, I think what I'm trying to do is create like a lot of little micro niches, if that makes sense. So on Amazon, I want to rank for lots of different candles. So at the moment, I've got 13 cents available, but I might try and get up to about 20. And then if I can sell sort of 10 or 20 of those a day over the course of a month, um, that works out at quite a lot of money. I haven't quite worked it out yet. I'll um, let you guys know exactly what the figures are. But essentially with um, all the candle making and everything else, I want to replace my full-time income and at least match it with what I'm doing before I consider um, moving on or doing anything else. I've also been working on a lavender gift set. Originally I wanted to do um, a lavender bath salt and lavender candle gift set as I've um, recently been selling a few bath salts. Um, but after doing a bit of research online and on Amazon and Etsy, I've seen quite a few sort of sellers doing like um, pampering packages or self-care packages where you combine a few different bits together and sell it as like a little gift set. So I figure that's a pretty good idea. So I'm going to steal that and create my own sort of um, Suffolk lavender relaxing gift set. So at the moment I've got some lavender soap. There's going to be a lavender candle, a lavender bar salts, some lavender wax melts, um, some chamomile tea, and what else was it? Um, like a little dried lavender potpourri um, set. So I'm going to package that all together. I've been working on um, some branding for it, some nice sort of stickers to go on the outside. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put that all together, maybe sell it for about 30 quid. I think I've costed everything to about 15 pounds. So Amazon will take about six pounds um, for the FBA fee, so I should get about nine to ten pounds profit from that. I think my ultimate goal with just my sort of flagship range of candles is 20 sales a day. If I can get 20 sales a day, I think that's enough to match my income from my main job. So I think I might expand my scent range, maybe up to about 20, and I think that should be enough to get to about 20 sales a day. Um, because in theory, when you say 20 sales a day, it doesn't sound like a lot. Um, so I think my first goal is to consistently try and hit 10 sales a day, and then 20 sales a day. Um, the more time I put into the branding, building reviews, getting better photos, just working on the listings, the better. Um, one more thing I want to work on this week is on Amazon you can get A-plus content. Um, so sort of below the image you can add more detail, more information. Um, I had to register my brand um, in order to get that, but yeah, so my next goal is to improve just the images and the brand in total. Um, 
the better the picture, I think the better the sort of sell through rate. I think in the beginning I was in such a rush to try and get everything done. I'm now really enjoying the process of just making the candles, um, sort of taking my time doing the wicks, pouring the wax, um, sort of making the labels, printing them off. I've been outsourcing a lot more stuff than I did in the beginning. In the beginning I made literally all of my labels. I cut them all out with a guillotine. I hole punched them. I put the little rivets in with like um, a leather working machine. I then cut and tied all the twine for my labels to put it around. It was a quite a time consuming process. Um, but it saved a lot of money in the beginning until I could get enough funds to outsource everything. Um, and that's really sped up my process. I've gone from being able to make maybe sort of 20 candles in a couple of hours to maybe 50 in a couple of hours. So I've sort of doubled the amount I can do. Um, and even right in the beginning, I could probably make five candles in an hour and then, yeah, maybe 50 in a couple of hours. So, yeah, just sort of growing with the business and enjoying the process as it all unfolds, really. I think as I grow with the business, I refine my practices. Um, I think I learn what works and what doesn't in the space I've got and what's kind of efficient for me. Luckily, with all the sort of training I've had as a chef, I've learned how to work pretty cleanly, pretty organized and efficiently. You get quite good at doing batch processes and learning how to cost stuff. I think the costing has been one of my biggest assets um, beginning this. I wanted to make sure everything was costed properly so I actually made a profit. Whereas I think a lot of people maybe start trying to make the most amazing candle possible and then get a bit carried away with the costs and then realize they haven't made any money at the end of it. Even if the candle is amazing. Um, um, but yeah, we're all in it to make a bit of money. Investing in better equipment has helped quite a lot. Um, the little soup kettle you see sort of, well, near where I'm working that can hold 10 litres of wax and in the beginning I only had a little crock pot that could do about 2 litres of wax so from that I can make 25 candles in one go so that sped up the process massively I've been struggling a little bit with sinkholes and uneven tops at the moment I've been using C6 um, since the beginning because it's got great scent throw um, but I'm considering changing now just because of the ongoing issues I've been reluctant to change the wax because I've got such good feedback on the candles due to the scent throw being amazing. Um, I think the coconut wax blended into it makes a massive difference in terms of scent throw. Um, but I've just been struggling a little bit as of late. I really want to get my recipes sort of nailed down as I move forward and start um, creating bigger batches of candles. I can either get really good glass adhesion and rubbish tops or really good tops and rubbish glass adhesion. There seems to be very um, little middle ground and if I do, I seem to fluke it. Um, I've tried so many different variables, different temperatures, pouring really low, pouring a bit hotter, adding the fragrance at different um, temperatures and intervals and I just can't seem to get a consistent result. So I'm just testing a few different waxes at the moment. Um, just getting a bit bored of constantly um, getting the heat gun out and just having a go at all of them as it just adds a bit more time to the process so if I can streamline all of it so it's been a bit of an ongoing struggle with the wax um, so as I mentioned previously I think before I move on to my next step I just want to maybe change the wax and just get all of my recipes timings temperatures completely nailed so I'm not messing around I'm not wasting time they're perfect candles every single time um, that smell great and look great so, last week, what did I sell? On Amazon, I sold £218 worth of candles. Uh, I think that was about 30% margin. I had three refunds, which is a little bit annoying. It's quite hard not to take it personally when someone refunds a candle. They never really give you a good reason on Amazon. It's so easy for any customer to get a refund for more or less any kind of reason. Um, I think when you spend so much time making something from the beginning to the end, um, you get a little bit upset when someone refunds something. A bit like in the kitchen when people send back food, you spend all the time making it and you can't really understand what's wrong with it. But a lot of these things are subjective and people simply don't like the scent or the candle or they're not willing to pay that much for 
something that's handcrafted. I think a lot of people don't realise um, the cost of everything, from the jar to the wick, the scent, it all adds up quite quickly. Um, anyway, I digress. Um, Shopify, we sold £27 worth of candles, and Etsy, what's the same? £27 worth of candles. So overall, that was pretty good. I thought um, it would all drop off a cliff after Mother's Day, but it's been quite a steady, consistent week. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased with all of that. 